A toy car costs £12.50 and a store offers a 15% discount. How much will the customer pay after the discount is applied? To apply 15% discount, you multiply it by 0.85. So this question comes from a section on long multiplication with numbers involving decimals. So in order to do this, I'm going to do a long multiplication grid using the lattice method. I'm going to divide this side into fours and this side into threes. Next, I'm going to add my numbers. £12.50 here. I've got 0.85. The next thing is to just divide all of these squares into two before our multiplication. So zero times zero is zero. In fact, everything times zero is zero. So this column will be filled with zeros and this row will be filled with zeros as well. Next, we've got one times eight, which is naught eight. Then I've got two times eight, which is 16. Then I've got five times eight, which is 40. On this bottom bit here, I've got five times five, which is 25. Then I've got two times five, which is 10. And then I've got one times five, which is zero five. Now remember with this lattice method, if you've not seen it before, we add up down the diagonals that we have created. So first of all, we've got zero here, so that's just gonna be zero. Then we've got zero add zero add five, so that will give us five. In this diagonal here, we've got all of the zeros and two, so that's just gonna make two. In this diagonal here, we've actually got things to add together. So we've got four add six is 10, add the one is 11, add the five makes 16, so I'm gonna put a six here, and I'm gonna put a little one there to carry that into the next diagonal. And then what we've got is we've got zero add zero add one, add eight add zero add one, well, we've just got to add the eight and the ones. So eight add one add one makes 10. So I put a zero here and I'm gonna carry the one there. In this diagonal, we only have the one. So that's just gonna make one. So the digits to the answer of this question are gonna be 106250. Now the question is, where do we put the decimal point? Well, with the grid method, what happens is we can follow to where the decimal points meet. So we see if this one travels down here and this one travels across here, the decimal points are gonna meet here. So if we follow this line down here, we end up here. So the answer, well, the answer to multiplying these two decimals is 10.625. However, this is a money question. So 10 pounds 625 doesn't exist. So we're gonna to have to round this number to two decimal places, which means we're gonna go up because five goes up. So we're gonna be looking at 10 pounds and 63 pence. So if you need more work at long multiplication with decimals, check out tutorial 22 at crackmaths.co.uk.